will be looking at the topic that is acute kidney injury as the term it is acute means sudden abrupt injury occurs and increase in creatinine occurs in acute kidney injury so what happens there will be the uh, urine output decrease and if there are different types of acute kidney injury like pre-renal injury intrinsic renal failure and post renal kidney failure so uh, because of injury there may be kidney failure and if it is acute so there will be urine output disturbance urine lysis we will look at urine lysis and urine sedimentation we will look at electrolytes which will be imbalanced and osmolality will also be imbalanced in the patient so in this way we will look at the condition of acute kidney injury according to the condition of patient and in pre-renal kidney injury in pre-renal acute kidney injury there will be acute uh, or potentially it is reversible causes are decrease effective arterial volume hypovolemia can cause acute pre-renal kidney injury congestive heart failure and sepsis can cause pre-renal uh, problems local cause are kidney renal artery stenosis arteriovascular renal vasoconstriction life from NSAIDs AC inhibitors or contrast agents or hepatorenal syndrome can cause acute kidney injury and diagnostic management of acute kidney injury are according to the different lates we will look at cast blood urea nitrogen level we will look at urine sedimentation and urine osmolality management depends upon establishment and correcting underlying cause if hypovolemia is present restored blood volume is rapidly is uh, is rapidly as possible monitoring the central venous pressure continuously and correct metabolites in this way we can manage acute kidney injury